Okay, now for those of you who want to attempt your first muscle up, here are three really important points of performance that you can master to help you along the way. All right, number one, we're actually gonna start slightly behind the bar. You don't want a giant gap, but you wanna be a little bit behind your pull-up bar, and you're actually gonna jump into a hollow position. That way you can have a better kip to start your muscle up. As you're jumping into that hollow position, we really wanna emphasize that though you wanna get a nice big kip, you don't wanna let go of your core stability, okay? Because when we see people get into this super overarched position, then you've lost all the power coming from the midsection of your body. So get a big kip, but hold tension through this system. Awesome, and while we're doing that, what we're gonna do is from the arch position, we are gonna kip into our muscle up. As we're pulling with straight arms to the hip, we wanna think about driving our chest over the bar, and something that's super important is to be patient, especially if you're early on learning muscle ups, and allow your chest to rest on top of the bar before we rush into a dip position. Because if we're thinking about steps out of order, you're likely going to miss letting your weight come through and over the bar. One way to think about the bar muscle up, especially if we're having a hard time with that transition, is that we're not going through the bar. We have to imagine as if there was like a ball or a plate in the bar. Our chest has to go behind and over it. It's not at an angle coming up, it's around, right? So we're creating a circular motion with our chest. So if you oftentimes find yourself coming up underneath it and making contact with the chest with a lot of momentum, think about getting behind it and over it and not coming through it. 